the end has arrived for Terence Williams. Following one of the worst seasons of his NFL career, the veteran wideout will hit the free agency market by virtue of the Dallas Cowboys opting to not pick up his option for the 2019 season, the team announced. It's one of the more unceremonious conclusions for a career that showed a lot of promise before the wheels fell off last season, leading to an expected divorce between the two. Before we go forward, let's first look back to March 2018, when the needle truly started pointing south. Sitting in Frisco, TX was a team still licking their wounds from a disappointing 9-7 finish to the 2017 season that also saw them knocked out of playoff contention in Week 16, working to determine how they could better themselves going forward. What would happen over the course of the offseason would shake things up in a major way, both with the coaching staff and within the roster itself, but the initial blueprint definitely included Williams. Having been the most durable and consistent player in a WR room that was about to be gutted in one way or another, approaching was yet another chance for the veteran to prove he could be the no. One guy going forward. Instead, he broke his foot. Fast forward a few weeks to May, and Williams had a sizable chip on his shoulder, even larger than the one he usually lugs around, proclaiming there'd be hell to pay for all who doubted him, referring to his potential for dominance this coming season. Eighteen days later, he was arrested for public intoxication. Between those two events, the Cowboys opted to release all pro wideout Des Bryant instead of Williams, but also signed both DeAngie Thompson and Alan Hearns in the process, followed by selecting Michael Gallup in the third round of the draft. Each of the new signees were expected to have big roles alongside Cole Beasley, leaving many to wonder where Williams would fit going forward. After missing most of off-season conditioning, he'd returned to have a strong training camp, inserting himself back into the conversation, ultimately resolving his legal issues with Frisco PD as well. Still, something wasn't quite right. Owner Jerry Jones proclaimed he didn't believe the NFL would suspend Williams for his transgression in May, but that's a story he's told before. He said the same in 2017 about running back Ezekiel Elliott, and we all know how that turned out fact was Williams was still facing a potential suspension that eventually landed to the tune of three games, a verdict that was mostly inconsequential as he served his penance while on IR. That punishment did, however, give the Cowboys the option to void every penny of his guaranteed money for 2018, but things were already exceedingly complicated at that point. Had the suspension and subsequent void landed prior to the IR designation, it still would not have been a clean cut. It will be now though, and Williams is left to find a new home and a fresh start, effective immediately. In return for letting him walk, the Cowboys will save $2.25 million in salary cap and qualify for a compensatory pick in 2020.